<laughs> What's up, everybody? It is your boy Grim. Welcome back to Grim Adventures, where we are in another adventure. Mist of Aiden, part four. Here we go. Let's see what this guy has to say. Oh, we're just gonna walk right into the house. All right, last part. Straight up, we're in hell. Like it's gotta be. Like we're in limbo, just like the goddamn last game. Keep finding shit. More shit keeps popping up. Every time we walk in this house, this something changes. Wasn't too much. Was it a good ending? There is no time. I need to leave it as it is. Since when did I start talking to myself? I can't take it anymore. I need to get distracted. We finished all the weird crystals. Is this it? Lately, I can't get my childhood out of my head. I don't know why. Okay. Oh. I always knew who I would be when I grew up. My I'm father took care of this. Director of the factory. Very powerful person. He had big plans. And some of them were on me. But first, I had some daily schedule to do. You must wake up at five, then homework, then school. And in the evening, <laughs> the real work. Kids' schedule is insane. Uh, seven, first year of business school, graduation, head of the floor, assistant director, director of the factory. Every day was a preparation for the future. I had goals. At age 14, a junior assistant in the sorting floor. At 15, a senior assistant. Head of the floor at 24. Replacement for my father at 31. There is no time for doubts. I would do everything for him. Every day. I hated it. I had no one to talk to. I had no idea how. Nowhere to go, and because of that, again and again. Oh. What the fuck is happening? Oh. Oh, yeah? At first, it didn't work out very well. Stupid stories. It's too embarrassing to even think about them. But they gave me the distraction then. Letter from the publisher. An opportunity to leave. And at 18, on my birthday, I decided to do it. What? My invitation to the world outside the home. Dear Mr. Mist. <sighs> oh. I apologize for the late reply, but I wanted time for to... I wanted time to for myself. And a colleague to read your work. Uh, the Great Gentleman. Frankly, your style isn't quite polished yet. However, I've been intrigued by your talent for creating an atmosphere and maintaining a dark tone. I'm still having goosebumps from your gloomy descriptions of an alien slaughterhouse. Please reply to this email if you still want to work with us. I believe that our proposal might interest you. Wow. Cool. Eh, what the fuck? Papa was furious. He locked me up. He used his educational methods stronger than usual. But it's 
asshole in the past. I was able to leave, and that's what really matters. I left all this behind. I found a special girl. That's what's important. We have a wonderful baby. And we lived happily ever after. Until. What happened? I don't get it. Is he an author or is he a, a thief? The hell is that? Please tell me you see that. What the fuck is that? Oh wow, that's the fucking... <laughs> that's a good shadow right there. A lot of detail in this house. Uh, I like it. What is that? I wrote about three dozen such notes only for the first chapter. Outline for the first chapter? What? What does it say? The safe door opened with a soft click. Here it is, the shining stone he was looking for. It's time to go home. Thief turned back to the door and froze in shock. There was a man in an opening. He didn't see his face, just an old gas mask. Oh. So we, he was writing about the thief? Okay. What the fuck? That's cool. I like that. That's nice. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> Dumbass. Letter from the doctor. Only after this letter did we realize how serious the problem was. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Mist. I'm sorry to inform you that Oliver's condition is getting worse. Rio, I don't know, will facilitate his well-being and increase his quality of life, but it can't eliminate the cause of his heart problems. I highly recommend you give your consent to more radical. I think I said that wrong. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> that was uh. Consent to more methods of treatment as soon as possible. We've prepared a medication regimen which has a chance to restore working of the heart back to normal. I doubt that surgery will be needed, but I have to warn you that it may be a possibility in the future. We will discuss your son's treatment during the next visit. Sincerely, Dr. Matthew Pierce. Okay. Outline for the second chapter. I erased all unnecessary descriptions. The reader's attention must be focused solely on what he will see next. Each step up the stairs was marked by a lingering creak. A hatch in the ceiling has led him into the attic, a dark world that has deprived of all traces of sound of light. The only thing that could break the silence was the sound of an old camera. The only thing that could help him to see what was, was its broken camera flash. After a few long seconds, he has finally found a door. Another flash of the camera helped him to see. There, they were here, motionless figures, short moment that was frozen in time. We tried as best we could. It was all for nothing. Bills for treatment grew every month. My novels started to get rejected, and in time, our money ran out. I got a second job, then started another one. That wasn't enough, but we had a chance. So we had a kid, medical problems, too much bills, then tried to rob a mansion. Accidentally set the place on fire? Or is that in the novel? Is he alright? The 
doctor says that he's stable. Good. Good. Have you taken a nap yet? I didn't have time. The operation just ended. How are you? Work. Uh, the part with the maniac is ready. I will write it in time. Can we get another loan? You're already in debt. They won't give us any more. I just need to finish it and... You can call your father. Fitting, you know we shouldn't do that. I've already spoken to him. He has plans for me and now he has plans for Oliver. He, he will break him. He is a monster. Aiden, I don't care who he is. I don't care even if he has horns in his tail. We're talking about our son right now. <sighs> Listen, if he gives us money, then we won't be able to leave him. Never. No, I... I will sell the book and we will solve everything. Aiden, your last work is still in your desk, along with the previous one. How do you know that they'll buy this book? This is all that I have. I promise you, this is my best work. I just need to finish it and everything will be okay. Do you believe me? <sighs> one month, Aiden. Then, we'll call your father. I can handle it. I promise. Just say that you believe me and I will do everything. One month. This went from really scary to really fucked up. <laughs> Aiden, are you okay? We need to talk. No, no, no. I just need to proofread this thing. A bit more time, maybe a week, or... More than a month has passed, and I know that you work. I just wanted to say that Oliver is stable. The doctor is waiting, and... She will not believe me. Even if I try to persuade her, it's either I'm finishing the book, or... How long have you been inside? Aiden, I can't worry about the both of you at the same time. We must solve this problem, and solve it now. Your father will help, and he's not so bad. You can return your books later if you want. Who cares about the books? If he gets control, it will be the same with Oliver as it was with me. She doesn't understand. We will make it through, whatever happens. I'm sure that not everything is so bad with your father. We will talk to him, or figure something out. Oliver asked about you. I said that you're working. But you'll visit him soon. He misses you. I miss you too. Open the door, Aiden. You made a promise. Aiden, please. God. Alright, so I guess the contract. Aiden. Everything was so strange, surreal. He was standing here in the old garage again as if he never I left it. I just want to talk. Alright, so then. Oh. You promised. All right, let me let me open this door. Let me see what happens. We'll leave it all behind. I can work with my father. We can come up with something together. But if only I had a couple more days. You promised. Oh, I think it's a decision. Family. No, that does not matter. <sighs> Hello, Nadine. Wow. Cool. I don't want to see what would happen if I chose the book, though. See the other ending. Aiden, are you okay? We need to talk. No, no, no. I just need to proofread this thing. A bit more time. I just need a little more time. The ending is done. I just need to polish it and... Oliver will have his operation. He will be free. Nadine will never understand me. We will have to break up, but... Is it worth it? I'm sorry. I get it. 
get it in. I really do. Finish your book. I hope you'll be okay. Goodbye. Okay. Well. All right. Well then. That's crazy. That was kind of insane. Not gonna lie. I'll give the game probably probably like an eight out of ten. Yeah, I'm gonna go with an eight out of ten. Ending was kind of meh. But those first two parts were like really intense. Kind of feels like the ending was rushed. Like that's might might be what they were going for, especially he was like trying to complete the ending. But those first few parts were insane. It was scary as hell. That's why I'm giving it an eight because it was really scary and like the palms were sweating for a minute, but. The ending kind of just didn't end. It was kind of just like a white light. You got re, re uh, connected with your family, I guess, but still pretty insane. I liked it a lot. It was good. Really good. Kind of short, but really good. Congrats. <laughs> good job. <laughs> uh, on that note, be sure to uh, catch me on Twitch, where I stream every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Check out my Facebook gaming for the latest clips and reels. Also, check me out on my Instagram. All those links are down below for the latest news and updates. As always, guys, keep it real.